continuing with our JavaScript tutorials today. We're going to start working with pop-up boxes, alert boxes, and confirmation boxes. I'm going to start with some basic HTML here, already set up with HTML and body tags. Uh, and basically, making a simple alert box is very simple. What we're going to do is we'll, for, at first, create one that just starts up when the page loads, and we'll just throw that into the body. We'll create a script tag here and what type of script is it once again it is a text script what type of text script javascript okay close that tag and put a ending tag for it here okay and now all we have to do is type alert and then inside parentheses and ending the line with a semicolon we're going to put uh, quotations and put our string inside there so I'll just say hello world We'll save that, and as soon as this page refreshes up here, boom, we get a little pop-up box. That's what would happen when you came to this page. It says, hello world, just as it does down here. And we'll click close. That's an alert box. Now, if you wanted um, a new line, uh, I believe you can use a new line character. Let's see. So backslash N, uh, how are you? We'll save that, and once again, this should automatically refresh up there, and there you go. You got, hello world, how are you? The new line, basically, this little backslash N uh, is like hitting enter if you were typing something out. So that is how you do that, and you can do, do it a number of times. If you want to write a whole paragraph out in that box, you can. Oops, I pasted that in the wrong spot, didn't I? I'll just type it out. Backslash N, new line. Oops, didn't mean to exit out of that. There we go. Uh, hello world, how are you? New line. So you can just keep going on and on and on. So that's a basic alert box popping up when the script uh, start or when the page starts up by throwing the script into the body of the um, page. Uh, let me remove this body tag, move it down here. So we're taking the JavaScript out of the body tag, basically, and we're going to throw it into a JavaScript function. So let's add some header tags here. So head and backslash or forward slash head. I like to put some spaces, make things easier to read. Okay, let's create a function as we've done in previous tutorials. Function my box, we'll just call it. And then we'll do our squiggly brackets here. So when this function is called, the my box, it will then print out that alert message. So let's create something so we don't just have an empty page. We'll add in a button. So we'll say button type equals button. And I'll put that in quotations, although it doesn't have to be. We'll say on click equals show. Uh, why am I typing show? Uh, my box. That's our function. And we'll say um, we'll call this just click me. There we go. We'll save all that and our button should appear right here. There we go. Now when we click me, click the click me, that's when the button pops up. And we can do that over and over again. So that's alert boxes. There are other types of boxes that you can have as well. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, instead of alert, we're going to have here, we're going to type prompt. And that's how you create a prompt box. Now, let's get rid of all this right here. In fact, let's ask a question. We'll say, what is your name? Now, if we save this and run it, we'll click on this button. You can see you get a box that says, what is your name? It has a little question mark icon here because it's a prompt box. It's asking a question and then you can type something in here and hit OK, which doesn't do anything right now, but we'll get to that in a moment. Now you notice that that prompt box is empty by default. Let's uh, put something, uh, some default text in there. And what we'll do is we will say comma and then inside parentheses, 
uh, I'll say Metal X 1000, my screen name. So I'll save that. Now, when I click this button up here, boom, you can see by default, it puts in that default text. So that is how you can create default text for those prompts. Um, now, to grab information from that, basically, we would put the uh, that entire prompt into a variable. So we'll say here uh, var, and we'll call it name, and we'll say equals. And that's it. So now, whatever you input into that box, when you hit OK, it's going to add that value to the variable name. Well, what's going to happen after that? Well, let's... Uh, let's uh, change the way the page is set up. Uh, we'll just say, uh, first off, let's indent here. We're going to say document dot write. Remember doing this will overwrite the whole page, so we'll lose our button, but you can do the same thing with an element uh, uh, ID tag like we did earlier. And we're going to write how are you space plus name space plus uh, and we'll say today. Oops. And we'll close it off like that. So now what's going to happen? When we click that button, it will pop up a, a prompt box asking what is your name with the default text of Metal X 1000, which you can change. Once you click OK, it's going to take whatever you put in that box and set the variable name equal to that. Then it's going to overwrite all the HTML on the page and replace it with how are you space name blah blah blah. Uh, and um, although I sh probably should put some uh, HTML uh, tags on here to be a little more proper, let's not and see what happens. Okay, so I'll come up here and I'll click click me and I'll just leave it the default name LX1000, okay and yeah, nothing happened. Let's, let's add in some tags here. We'll just make it a paragraph tags like so. And now when we click me, I'll click OK, and it says, how are you today, uh, Metal X, or how are you, Metal X? You know, I'm tired. That sentence doesn't even make any sense. How are you, Metal X 1000 today? How about just, how are you, Metal X 1000? And I guess technically there should be a comma here. I'm running on very little sleep today. You'll have to forgive me. Uh, I'll save that. Now, once again, we'll click and click OK. How are you, Metal X 1000? Let's refresh the page. Click again. Obviously, I can change this. I can type in Chris. OK. And we'll click it again. And we'll say, um, Tommy Smith. And as you see, it doesn't matter that there are spaces in the name. It will handle that for you. Um, so that is alert boxes and prompt boxes. Let's see what happens here if we hit cancel. It adds null as that variable. So you would want to make a if then statement actually to, uh, to get around that, which I haven't gone over if then statements. So maybe we'll hop into that in the next tutorial. Uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you visit the links in the description. I'll have this uh, HTML and JavaScript code posted there. Visit my site, filmsbychris.com, and I hope that you have a great day.